Alpha Pharmacy Dion from Alpha Pharmacy. With me here, we have Dr. Razali from CVSKL. Today, let us debunk a few myths that we commonly receive from the customer about atrial fibrillation. Are we ready for the first question? I'm always ready. Let's go! Alright, first question we have here. If an AF patient who is currently on the medications but not experiencing any symptoms, is it means he is cured? That's a very, very important question. It is important to note, atrial fibrillation sometimes can be silent and without any symptoms. For everyone who has atrial fibrillation, if your risk for stroke is still significant, those who are 65 years of age and above, please continue the medications until your electrophysiologist say otherwise. So patients who have no symptoms on medications is not considered as cured. The bottom line is, continue your medication and have a conversation with your electrophysiologist to know when the medication is safe to be stopped. So in short, do not stop your own medication. Alright, second question here we have, is it possible to completely recover from AF? Yes, whenever I discuss with my patients, I will offer them two options. One is giving them medications and the second option, a chance for cure. But a cure means you have to undergo a procedure. If you are on medications, you cannot cure this condition. By controlling the disease, you are controlling the complications from the disease. The other option is, that means you have to undergo a process called catheter ablation of atrial fibrillation. In general, if the patient has early paroxysmal atrial fibrillation in a young patient, less than 65 years old, with not much comorbidities, then one procedure has got a 90% chance of curing the patient. Ah, so is it means detect it earlier will be better chance? Detect earlier and intervene early. Intervene early. Very important to screen your heart early. Alright, the third question we have here is Do the patient need to avoid completely alcohol or caffeine? So let me answer the alcohol first. If you have atrial fibrillation, my best advice based on clinical data, zero alcohol. If you want to get rid of your AF, even if after I've done a successful ablation, if you don't stop alcohol, you'll be a frequent flyer in CVS scale. How about coffee? Coffee, no issue. You drink as much as you want and you will know, for example, you say one, two cups of espresso, no issue. Hmm. But a third, cafe latte, bang, I have a bit of palpitation. So I said, go ahead and drink coffee, but know your limits. So conclusions, no alcohol at all, but coffee in moderation is okay. Yes. So that's all the common questions and hopefully we have cleared all the doubts for you all. Thank you Dr. Razali for providing a very fruitful insights for all these questions. If you have any doubts about heart health, do drop by CBSKL for a proper assessment or any selected alpha pharmacy for a basic screening. Thank you. Bye-bye.